Original ideas are spawned by incredible minds and extraordinary amounts of luck. Unoriginal thinkers will often fool themselves into thinking that there's no such thing as an original thought, but they do indeed exist. The annals of time are marked with these cosmic events. The last truly original thought was had by Anne Roselle of France in September of 1992. Her thought was gleaned during a countryside walk, but unfortunately lost forever, as these things sometimes are, after a farmer enacted his citizens' rights for trespassing. Since then, there has been nothing. No new thoughts or original ideas on planet Earth, just more of the same. All the intelligence in the world couldn't help for the lack of original ideas. Until now. The variables for an original emergent thought event are beginning to align under one roof, Her Majesty Victoria, circa 1962. However far from ordinary these events are on the timeline of the cosmos, this occasion was exceedingly rare for Earth's humans. The motions of a multiplicity of processes, perspectives and systems were due to coalesce for a fraction of an instant. A momentary aligning of an almost infinitesimal array of thought waves, givens, facts, theories, paradigms, epistemes, ontos, existences, absolutes, began to occur to everyone under the same roof. Here there had been discontinuity in the understanding of things, in which a new way of seeing things had come into existence, a way that reorganized everything that there was before. Collective emergence. What separated these old boys from the rest of the planet could have been their fondness for Midland Stout, but no one knows for sure. A young particle physicist once said to me, creativity is the life force of the universe. Well, what if the universe came knocking?